Continuing with our wiring of the Rosslayer products, we want to talk about standalone readers. In standalone readers, we have the AC version and we have the AYC version. In the AC wiring, you do not have to have the smart power supply, just a standard 12 volt or 12 to 24 volt DC or AC to uh, power it up and we have both a wiring harness on some of our readers and then we have just terminals on others. In this case we have an ACQ42H and the wiring for this if you'll take note is that we uh, from our 12 volt transformer and it can be just a, a standard 12 volt transformer we're going to uh, come into the positive side off of positive negative side off of negative or in this case it this is a actual strike would be wired into our normally open and then our negative side would be wired up to the negative side of our power our Rex would be wired into the actual Rex connection and then we would tie it into the negative also. And just make note in order this is a dry contact unless we run a jumper from our plus 12 volts over to the common. When we do that, that provides the 12 volts out to the strike if you don't run this jumper it is just a dry contact and you have to have an external power supply. The other version of the AC standalone readers um, would come with a regular cable on it or a tail. We would have uh, 11 wires coming off of our reader and how we would wire this up is we would again um, come up to the uh, voltage in or the positive side or the red cable would go to the positive side of our 12 volts and then from the black wire we would tie it down to the negative side. Hooking up our lock to this and in this case it's a strike we would come off of the positive side of the strike and we would go to the gray wire. Now if this were a mag lock then as it shows here we would hook it up to the normally uh, closed and that would be the brown. In our case this is a normally open lock we are going to go to the gray. The other side of our lock would come over and would tie off to the negative side of or black wire in the wiring harness. You will notice that in order to get voltage to the lock we need to come off of the purple wire and tie it to the positive side of our uh, uh, voltage and then that completes our loop to the lock and when we swipe our badge or put in our pin code it closes this contact puts a loop and provides 12 volts to it. Wiring up a Rex or request to exit we would come off of one side should not matter because this is normally a normally open contact and we would go to the green wire which is our Rex. The other side would come over to the black and when we press our Rex button uh, create the contact close then it releases our lock. Our AYC or our convertible readers do require a PS25T or a PST25 power supply. It is a smart power supply that actually um, converts our inputs and outputs because on an AYC reader we only have six wires. We can't break everything out. When wiring a reader to our PS25, we would bring positive to positive, negative to negative. Our C1 in this case would be the white wire 
and our C2 would be the green. Um, on all of our panels, it's opposite, but coming to the 25T, it is uh, reversed on this one. We would use a standard 16.5 volt transformer, 40 volt amps to power. We would bring that into terminal 1 and terminal 2, then it's converted within the power supply itself. You can hook up a battery if you would like to hook up a battery. Our lock, and in this case, our lock is a strike. We would hook up to the normally open. If it were a, a mag lock, then it would go to the normally closed. The other side of our lock would tie to the negative side of the power. Our Rex button would hook up one side to the Rex, one side to the negative side of the power. On a Rex button, it, it does not matter if, uh, on polarity. Uh, you don't have to worry anything about that. You do want to note that we have a jumper run from the plus 12 volt on our auxiliary over to the common. Our relay are normally open or are normally closed is just a dry contact until you run this jumper over to your common. Thank you.